Um, so the Facebook banner, I would, uh, if I were you, I would try to hit on either goodwill, affinity, and or authority, okay? So that's why I wanted to tell you about those pieces first, so this will make sense, that it, it's a really good idea to try to hit on all of these in one, okay? So I don't know if I necessarily have goodwill built into mine. Um, some people do, uh, and I think that, that that's a pretty good idea. Um, like a way that I could put goodwill would be to say something like, if I had a little tagline or, you know, build the business of your dreams to serve so, so you can live the life of your dreams. Also, um, so, um, you know, another really important thing is to call out your ideal client. Okay. This is your, your call to action here. Okay. Um, so the, the, the key thing I think, um, about these is, a lot of them, it doesn't really say what you do, okay? Um, so, for instance, like, people who, um, I'm going to kind of make fun of, like, university here, um, or college even, but people who um, go through university and college, um, they learn marketing um, as if, they learn marketing in, in such a way that is helpful if you go to a big company with a $5 million marketing budget or a $50 million marketing budget. And you can say all these high level phrases like be yourself and love life or something like, it's like, okay. But like when you say that on a Facebook post on a Facebook banner, it doesn't mean anything in terms of business or it doesn't say it much. Okay. So, um, I would say it's super important to be specific. Um, and the whole concept here is to aim small. Okay, so you understand like a bullseye, like if you're trying to hit a bullseye on a target, like you don't aim at the whole target. You have to learn how to aim just at that little teeny red dot in the middle. And, and that's, that's the essence of content marketing is, is if you don't aim small, you won't hit anything. But anyway, so, um, so, 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 you know, you want to, you want to be, you want to be specific in, in what you talk about here. Okay. Um, the other thing that you want to have in your banner is make sure, and this is super common that people, they, they, it's, it's funny. Like people make a banner like this and they have a, it says, it'll say like click here and you click and there's no, there's no freaking comment in here. I'm like, dude, why did you just tell me to click? There's, there's nothing for me to do. There's not, you're not telling me anything here. So, um, another thing I would say is, you know, um, you want to edit the banner description insert your call to action there and we we put an about me section in there as well um so i think this is a really good place to put in about me because like if somebody's going to come here to one of my offers you know a lot some people might be like well you know i heard of him but who is he i can't remember so this is a good time to remind, remind them <laughs> um the other thing here is we have you know other things that are you know other things that they might be interested in so we have you know different call to actions here if you guys are wondering how to make your the facebook banners so the 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 one of the best places to go is obviously go to fiverr um and type in the word facebook banner and um now one thing i will tell you is what i just did right there is not a secret the secret of using this is knowing how to use the site okay the other way to do it would be to use Canva. Um, just guys, if you don't know how to use Canva, go to YouTube. There's like only 2000 videos. I'll show you exactly how to use this. It is free. There's a free version. It works really well. Okay. Um, the one we use, we use one called Usign. Um, you don't have to use Usign. I think we pay like a hundred bucks a year for this or something like that. But this is much more like Photoshop, but on a web browser. Okay, so if you need something that's more Photoshop, like um, for instance, if I needed to say I want to like, this is my image, or I can upload an image and I can erase the background on that image. So here it actually will try to auto crop out the background. So I just want you to see like how fast, like see how fast I just got rid of that. So uh, it also has really good sizing things here for like Facebook cover. So I can flip this. So anyway, 
So you can see like how fast you can build in, in one of these. Um, Canva is fairly similar. I think Canva, to me Canva is like, it takes a little bit longer, but it's, it's like refresh is a little bit slower. But, um, but either one of those is fine.